In the silent halls of tomorrow's factories, something extraordinary is waking up. Machines that don't just move, they think. Their faces look human. Their gestures, almost alive. These are not science fiction anymore. They are humanoid workers. And they are already among us. The age of human-like machines has begun. This is the story of the human upgrade. For decades, robots built cars, lifted steel, and assembled microchips, but they were blind, deaf, and dumb. They couldn't adapt, couldn't learn, couldn't smile. But in the last five years, artificial intelligence changed everything. Language models gave machines a way to understand. Vision systems taught them to see. And with synthetic skin and sensors, they began to feel. The result? a new species of worker, part human, part machine. Today, humanoid robots are quietly entering our workplaces. In Japan, they deliver medicine inside hospitals, smiling politely at patients who think they're talking to a human. In Germany, they handle complex paperwork at government offices, reading forms, scanning IDs, signing documents faster than any intern could dream of. In California, engineers train humanoids to walk beside humans, matching our rhythm, recognizing our gestures, and even predicting our next move. They don't sleep, they don't complain, and they learn faster than any employee in history. But every revolution comes with a price. What happens to millions of workers when their robotic twins never get tired? Economists call it efficiency. Humans call it replacement. And yet the deeper question is not about jobs. It's about identity. When a machine can comfort a child, show empathy, or cry on command, do we still call it a machine? Some philosophers believe humanoids are mirrors, reflecting everything we love and fear about ourselves. Others say they are the next step in human evolution, a step we created, but might not control. We stand on the edge of a transformation unlike anything before. The fusion of biology and technology is no longer science fiction. It's our new reality. Neural implants, synthetic muscles, digital consciousness. The human upgrade is happening from within. The question is not if we'll change, but how far we'll go. Will we build machines to serve humanity? Or will we become the machines we once feared? The next revolution will not be between nations, but between generations. The line between human and machine is blurring, and the upgrade has already begun. Subscribe to The Human Upgrade.